so let's see the practical implementation of the functions that we have learned so first of all i'm going to give you the proteus layout in front of you so here it is a proteus design suit version 8.0 in which i have already made a one proteus layout of 8 mega 8 so here is my proteus layout alright so here you can see i have already connected a one lcd simply to the 8 mega 8 as per our pin diagram so now as we have learned about the first function is lcd clear so i am going to show you about our first function is lcd clear and how to use that function so as you all know so lcd might be have a garbage value so to remove that garbage value so you have to write a program in CVAVR. I think all of you are aware about the CVAVR. So I have already opened a CVAVR. So in CVAVR, go to new, click on new, click on project, click on yes, then OK. So now I have already selected the 8 mega 8A IC, which is already running on the 12 megahertz external crystal, and and I'm going to interface the alphanumeric LCD which is a 16 character LCD which is going to be connected with port B so now you have to select the bits on which your port is connected so in the Proteus let's see RS is connected to PB5 so you have to select the RS connected to bit 5 in the same way RD I have not connected to the pins I have directly connected to the ground because it's a read write pin and it is by default should be ground so it is already connected to ground so I will assign it afterwards next pin is enable which is connected to PB4 so now the en enable pin should be connected to PB4 and the rest of the data pins D4, D5, D6, D7 are connected for PB0, PB1, PB2, PB3 so let's connect it with PB0, PB1, PB2 and PB3 so in this way we have connected the LCD let's cross check it first of all so it's D4 is connected to PB0 D5 is connected to PB1 D6 is connected to PB2 and D7 is connected to PB3 so we have connected it properly now the next is RS is connected to PB5 so the RS is connected to PB5 and EN port is connected to PB4 now you cannot assign the same bits at a single point so we have to assign a different pin so our pin is by default empty so I have assigned the bit number 7 to it now click on program and save generate and exit now make one new folder name it as 2 now the, this program is lcd clear lcd clear and lcd clear let's first of all this is your main program space on which we have to write a program so this is a whole program in front of you is already designed now you have to simply write a simple codes for it let's remove this one all right so first of all whenever you are writing any program you just fill up the details like the project is lcd clear function use and the version you can you can assign author com company sec robotics lab private limited so now here you can see the chip type it at mega 8a program type application avr core clock frequency is 12 megahertz memory model is small external ram is no and data stack size is 256 now here you can see we have included function io.h means input output dot h header file is already included and while configuring the alphanumeric lcd this cvavr is already a predefined library which is named as a lcd dot h in their library function so this is a header file which we have to include for the lcd now here we can declare our global variables now for the delay I have to include the delay so include delay dot h delay dot h is basically a delay header file which provides a delay to any function 
so now i am going to show you how the clear function works let's first of all write it down lcd underscore clear lcd underscore puts f which is used for writing any string character so i am writing to writing down www.gyanx.com and some few milliseconds of delay because the writing time and the displaying time is very fast so if you don't put any delay it directly gone away so i have write a simple program of lcd clear lcd puts f www.gyanx.com and delay.ms now just simply save it and here you can see three things first is compile the project here you can check your errors so in our program you can see here is a one error so let's see where is the error so here you can see it will show the error all right so in this line i have not put the semicolon now next you have to check it out again okay so no error no warning next all right so here your assembler is created the file and the last is save generate and exit now your hex file is created now so here you can see the program size is 286 words 7% of flash is using 11 words 22 bytes 3.7% reduced by the code compression so in this way you have to write the program hardware stack area is this and hardware stack size is this all right so this program is saved in at my 8 program lcd clear dot c now we have to burn our file in our microcontroller so this is our microcontroller now so in the proteus click on at mega 8 so here is a program file you have, from there you have to burn the program file simply go to at mega 8 programs program number 2 debug x and here is your intel hex file now the moment when you click on it the hex file is already inserted in it now you have to run the simulation the moment when you run the simulation here you can see it is returned www.ganesh.com so now i have written the ganesh.com now how can i remove this so to remove this or to show display on the screen you have to do one more thing simply again click and write lcd clear lcd puts f hello world the moment when i write hello world now after displaying the ganex and for the constant of 2 seconds 1 second is 1000 millisecond so after 2 seconds the display get clear and it will show hello world so now let's check our program now all right no error no warning and click on the file so now stop the simulation first of all now click on it and fetch our new program file so i have already insert the file in the same hex file okay now so now uh, run this program all right so here is the simulation now here you can see first is ganesh.com is written after 2 seconds here is a hello world is display again the ganesh.com and the hello world it is showing in a different different way because you have used the lcd clear let's see what happen when you don't write lcd clear before the second command all right so again now go to the cv avia so now here let's see when i remove the lcd clear command what happen on the display actually okay so i had just save it again you can also directly click on build all projects file so it will build all the project set at a single time now has already generated go to the proteus click on it again insert the hex file and run now see what happen on the screen when you don't use the lcd clear here when you don't use the lcd clear it automatically jumps to the next point afterwards because you have not cleared the 
previous values of the LCD. So in this way the LCD clear function behaves. Now we will see the puts function and the put care function now.